Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. I would love to take like great minds and look at their dicks. That's what it is. But what makes the world interesting is, is nerds with huge dicks and dorks with perfect tits. It's crazy how many of our heroes, quote unquote, dicks we've seen. If people remember anything about uh, my career in showbiz, I want it to be this episode of This Is Important Podcast. Strap in. Ooh. Ow, 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 my God. Ow. Oh, my pizza, pizza. God. Welcome back to This Is Important. Uh, joining us today is Adam Devine, Kyle Nowicek, Blake Anderson. Hey. Hey. What's up, guys? Blake, what's with the no shirt? You just decided to get get a little sexy for this one? Dude, it's just a hot California summer. You guys know how it is. Oh, it's hot, dude. It's a, That's a sexy frame. Like, because I don't you. know what's happening below the frame. Oh, it's my hot. God. Whoa, Adam. Feel free thick. to everybody Becky take your Grandma. shirt off if you want. <laughs> uh, who ordered the beef? <laughs> Beefcake. Let's see it, Kai guy. Oh my god. Come on, Kai. Damn, right, look at that chest on. hair. God. What's your guy's chest hair? What's good? Are we doing it? It's free it's fr it is freezing. Yeah. I got the yeah, dirt you're in like long sleeves. Look at this diamond. Yeah, Blake just has the, the little little pooch in the middle. Look at this. You see this yeah. thing? You see what's yeah, going on right here? I said I wouldn't do this. I said I wouldn't do Come this. Come on, Dur, show the chest. Kyle, you're Physique is insane. What do you think my name is? Dersh? Come on, Dersh. Do you see Come this line? What is this line, <laughs> hey, bro? Did you pull it off like this, though, Kyle? I think that's uh, like sagging titties, I think is what that is, Kyle. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, high high gut. Wow. Durs, hairless like a dolphin. Nice, Durs. Dude. Latitude. God damn. Wow, Durs. <laughs> yeah, dolphins don't have hair. Oh, did you say hairless like a dolphin? You guys, dirt. Wait, do you don't? Yeah, exactly like a dolphin. You don't have any chest hair. You don't have any <laughs> hair, Anders. Yeah, what's up? Well, they they're Hollywood, dude. They they're laser and that shit. Oh, it's oh, I see a little bit. Who? Do, what are you talking about? There, I have I have hair. I'm a hairy guy. It's barely seeable. Look at mine. Mine's very, very prominent. Kyle, you have the most Czechoslovakian chest hair <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even think Czechoslovakia is still a country, but you are you're waving that flag high. Because that looks like it's straight out of Czechoslovakia. <laughs> you, yeah. This you is yeah, this is from them. Yeah. And I don't know who we're comparing this to. <laughs> You look like old world chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you told me that that chest hair is, is fought in World War One, I, like, I would believe it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or, or before it. Oh, this is the this is part of the yeah. Ottoman Empire, dude. <laughs> it looks like it should be behind like chainmail. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Right? Like a, a steel breastplate. This bro's chest hair is on King Arthur's court, baby. <laughs> Sat at the round table. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you find that? No, no, I feel like that wasn't sitting at the round table. It was outside, like asking to get in. They're like, no, yeah. we're good. Yeah, no, that had the plague. Oh, man. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> that chest hair had the plague, dude. I'll go, go, go try and make some bread or something. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make some bread. I'm gonna go go go. I'm gonna go make some bread. I get that. I'm gonna go make some goulash. Look how wide Kyle is. Naked grandma. Oh, and then and then Kyle just caught the bubonic plague right there with the. Yeah. Oh, God, man. All right, guys. Kyle, your shoulders are so wide. Same hmm. same with you, buddy. Dude, thanks. No, look. They always have been. Oh, oh, yeah. What's going down? Yeah. He's frail. You make yeah. Durs look like a child. He look, he has a female's physique compared to you. Yeah, and they're so bony, too, Kyle. You see the bones yep. in them. He's just like a fucking coat hanger. Dude, it's yeah. crazy. 
Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. I don't know. You're fucking... Hang on a second. Let me just... Uh, you guys don't care if I turn off my camera real quick, do you? <laughs> You're good. Why, you trying to crank down? Have you ever rested a level? Goodbye. It's the only way Kyle will pay attention is if uh, one of us is jerking off. <laughs> Truly. I'm getting closer. I'm going to get a little closer to the camera on this one. So then I like, like, can't see everything. Brought to you by Truly. Dude, I want to put a level across your back. Because it's all in my head. Look at that thing. What do you mean you want to put a level across his... It's what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Hey, Adam, even Blake doesn't know. So let's just let it... Like, to see if this is level. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, because he, when he does this, it, it looks absolutely like a straight line. Yeah, well, it's not. Look at that. It's definitely not. Well, I think you... He's got great posture. Although I think you're... I think your collarbones are supposed to be flat, right? Collarbones are like true good posture. Your collarbones are supposed to be level. Like we all have huge. I'm going to move my mic. You guys tell me how to move. It's just. I think you don't have whatever these muscles are called. Lats. <laughs> Any of them? <laughs> no, lats are, are back there. <laughs> yeah. You walked right into his trap. Oh, trapezoids. Tra they're traps. They're traps. 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 Is it trapezoids? <laughs> yeah, I don't have much. Can you guys can you guys level this one's for the people listening? Can you guys level right. your collarbones so that they're flat like this? Oh, it's just, I don't know. Am I doing it? Like you're pushing I, you're pushing your shoulders down yeah. so that you're Am I doing it? Damn, but Blake's Damn. biceps are something else. And do you see how jacked you look now? Do I look extra jacked when I do that? Like you look when you do that, you look great. Oh shit. I literally I literally can't. Oh, like, like, he, is this a Wolverine pose? Is that what that is? Like, a, what do you mean? Push your elbows down. Just throw your shoulders down. You're not, you're not doing this. Just put your shoulders down. Are my shoulders, am I doing what you, am I doing what you want? Blake's trying to look like Boxing Helena or whatever the yeah. fuck that movie was. Dude, can we talk about Boxing Helena? <laughs> Who's Boxing Helena? I don't know. It was a. And why does Blake look exactly like her? It was a movie where. In the 90s. I. In the 90s, where it was about this in the 90s dude who cuts this chick's arms and legs off and puts her in a box. And that's the whole movie is like him, like keeping this girl in a box. Oh, my God. And was it played by the guy who they found out the hiker, the hiker guy? Hey, maybe AI should start to write our movies. OK, because <laughs> yeah. I think they could do something a little better than that. <laughs> I just remember like that was what? one of the first movies where like. My mom was like, yo, this movie's fucked up, but I got to watch it. And my mom's not really that what? kind of person. That was what your mom said? <laughs> the first in a long line of fucked up movies. Yeah, she came yeah. to my room. She's like, she's human like, caterpillar, my next new shit. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a bong. That's not a dick suck. <laughs> Wait, your mom came in and was like... Well, dude, I know your mom, and your mom isn't like that at all. Your mom was like... She was like, dude... <laughs> she came in your room and was like, yo... <laughs> this is some fucked up shit. I gotta watch it. Yeah. My mom was like, dude, you gotta watch CKY, and then also you need to watch Boxing Helena, dude. <laughs> Faces of death. Um, I, yeah, I don't, that doesn't even ring even a small bell for me. And kids. <laughs> yeah, it was about that. Yeah, me neither. Nothing. Normally, like when you guys talk about Labyrinth and shit that I haven't seen, mm -hmm. I at least know that it's a thing. I have no recollection of this movie. Dude. I think it was, well, yeah, it was the dude. It was Julian Sands, who I know mostly from Donkey. Donkey! Donkey Boy? What? No, that's Julian Donkey Boy is a movie. The, the hiker who just was, his body was, he disappeared outside Los Angeles in the mountains. Wait, what? And then his body was just found like a little bit ago. So the- The guy who wrote it. No, the actor. The act. Oh, what? The guy who put Helena in the box. The guy who was boxing. Can someone <laughs> uh, put put this in the chat so I can follow along to what the fuck they're talking about? He was the dude. Yeah, producers, please jump in. The he was also the dude from Arachnophobia that was like, Kanaima sounds familiar. He was in a bunch of shit. Oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. And so they just, they found him in the woods like he just raised by wolves he like fell or died or killed himself i don't know the deal what but like uh oh wow 
very recently hikers found his body just a little bit ago yeah guys okay yeah but it needs to be a link julian sand I, what you're like saying like this is a huge story no one heard that it was a huge story what it was a huge story hiker who found julian sand's body said he had wrong tools for the job mm -hmm. water okay no he showed up with one of those hammers that when you hit it it squeaks so he was yeah. fucked <laughs> British actor went um, missing in January. Yes, oh, oh, man. Yeah, it's a bummer. Never hike. Never hike. Never hike. He was dressed like a ninja. No, stop hiking. Not by yourself. Never by yourself. Never by yourself. According to the hikers, he said he was dressed like a ninja. Okay. I read that and I'm like, well, then how? What? So then what happened? This is the weirdest story ever. Not, not if you know the guy. I bet he was hilarious. Uh, Sam's was wearing micro spike shoes, not crampons, which are, I uh, guess, a thing, which are believed to provide more grip. Wait, micro crampons are the spiky things that you strap onto your shoes when you're. Oh, oh was this dude like, like, uh, like climbing shit or what? What's? Oh, I think he might have been like ice climbing, and then like they found him after the snow. As a ninja? Yeah. Yes, it was. He was ice climbing like a ninja, which is a good way. Which is like in California. Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah. In the mountains. It's in the snow. mountains. Were you not here this year when everyone was losing their minds Yo. and jizzing about the snow? No, that's right. It does snow in California. It snows Yo. right by my cabin. Yeah. You're right. It snowed in like La Cañada. Dude, you know what movie he was in? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it snowed in my house here. You're right. You're right. It snows. I'm just reading this article and I'm getting thrown okay. back. Yeah. I like how Kyle's finding new things about the state that he claims and he reps super hard. Okay, I believe you. He's busy jerking off is what's happening. Bro, I'm I'm getting thrown back super hard to Blockbuster video right now. Okay, go ahead. Go off, King. This guy was in the movie that I've never seen, but I remember the cover so well that as soon as I saw this word, do you, do you remember the movie Warlock? Yes. I was waiting for it. He was Warlock, dude. Great, great movie cover. Let me look up this guy. The movie's pretty good. I've never seen this movie, but the cover was, I, every time I saw it, I was like, oh, this movie's about to kick fucking ass, but maybe it's too demonic for me. This guy is a legend. I didn't remember it, but I definitely rented it a few times because of the box. Yeah, dude, he kind of looks like Kevin Etten. Well, that uh, that sucks, poor guy. He, he yeah, tried to go on. He tried to be a, an epic badass and do ice climbing, which uh, seems. Uh huh. I think he had done it a ton and then uh, didn't do it after. That this time. sucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. This is when we stopped. <clears throat> um. That sucks. Damn. Well, boxing. I feel like boxing in Helena was kind of like the first like human centipede. Like where it was like, oh, you got to watch this shit because it's like. So what is the premise of this movie? So it's just like he chops her up into a box and just keeps her in. He loves her and he doesn't want her to leave. So okay. he cuts off all her limbs and keeps her alive. Okay. Relatable. Like one at a time, right? It's like, oh, now I got to cut this one off. Mm, now I'm cutting this one off. I don't know if that's. And then was it a dream? There, I can't remember either, but I, I have seen it because I... I, I was like, this is right up my alley. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, this seems like Durs' perfect movie. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, it seems like something you would do. <laughs> I might reboot it. Might reboot it. Oh, there you go. Rebuild. Yeah, dude. Yeah, do it, but make like the comedy version of it. Like it's <laughs> yeah. pretty funny. Nah. I, well, I might have to do yeah. a crossover with like Taco <laughs> Bell. What's the $5 box that they have or is that KFC? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dark. Boxing, yes, boxing and hella tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Boxing hella uh, okay. tacos. <laughs> yeah, I might have to do that. There. You got that fourth meal? Mm, Into that's it. it. Into yeah. it. Fourth meal. Might have to do that there. The yeah. the horror movie of the century, fourth meal. That would yeah. be good. I'd be yeah. into that. Well we, we we ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> What's fourth meal? You are. And then they just start eating you. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Your fourth meal. Oh shit! Taco Bell vampires. Remember, um, remember, remember, breakfast, lunch, and dinner was when uh, Colin Farrell from his sex tape <laughs> when he was talking about eating the girl out. 
I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Colin Farrell. You had a sick ass sex tape. He turned it around. Did he? He's really kind of a people don't talk about it enough. Yeah, it yeah. was. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't remember his sex tape. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> it was dope, dude. Yeah, it's weird that Blake has seen it so many times. Uh, no, we used to watch that. It was on in the writers' room. Like it was like early morning shit. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, wouldn't. Wouldn't. Couldn't. Shouldn't. Didn't. So. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Right outside in our cars. <laughs> Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Off property, <laughs> off premises. I remember now. I remember. It was a yeah. Target parking lot. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> so what? Uh, so he just says like, "I'll eat your pussy like bre- for breakfast, lunch, and dinner," or like? Yeah. Well, he's like he down there so doing much. it, and he's like, "Oh yeah, like I'm gonna. I live here. I'll eat here." <laughs> <laughs> Will you make it more lines that didn't happen? <laughs> no, no. Blake's doing lines. These are real lines. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, oh, I'll build a, I'll, I could build a 4,000 square foot house. <laughs> yeah. He said I could. I'll build a nice condominium <laughs> condominium right here, multifamily. Uh, I want to be a landlord. <laughs> oh, Cliffside Manor. Draw a map to the treasure. Yeah, I'll rent it out. Rent yeah. controlled so everyone can live here. <laughs> I'm not even going to charge you rent, baby. I won't even charge. I'll the, give you the, the the flat for free. Slope, slope. Yeah, put your coochie juices in the moat. <laughs> you got to cover taxes. <laughs> and the little alligators will be the pubic hairs. All you have to pay for is utilities. You gotta cover taxes and you gotta cover utilities. That's not included, mate. Oh, ah, I'm a. <laughs> the butthole's the garage. <laughs> <laughs> a squatter's rights. <laughs> we share the workshop. <laughs> uh, I'm a. St- <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna stay here for a while. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lunch and dinner. <laughs> uh, so, when did this sex tape come out? I don't remember mm, this one. I, I, uh, 2000s. A while ago. You guys talking about it, I rem- I kind of remember it being a thing, but I don't think I ever <laughs> saw it. It was 2000 and late. I think it was after uh, when he was Bullseye for Daredevil. Mm-hmm. It was, he was like, his star was rising hard. 2005. Mm-hmm. He's, got my, he's got my star yeah. rising. <laughs> oh, 2005. That's, that's, that's really... That's really early in the in the Colin Farrell. Uh, yeah, I wonder what what is the sex tape drops timeline like? I would love to know the years. So Pam and Tommy was one, Kim Kardashian Ray J was two, right? What the year? Yeah. Mm, Paris Paris Hilton was before. Oh, Paris. Was Paris before? Oh yeah, Paris was before Kim K uh, for sure. Not before Pam and Tommy. No. no, 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 just before you. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Pam and Tommy, Paris, Kim, then Colin was. And then I feel like people tried to get theirs in there, but they, like, it was like Vince Neal or whatever. And you're like, I don't want to see this guy fucking. <laughs> yeah. Did China have one? Oh, there was some wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> China went full on porno thing. All right, oh, dude. Flowers to China. Was it? It was China and Six, right? Wasn't it? Was it them? Now, where was she? <laughs> Where was she? Where was China? Did she have a? Did she have like a hiking death or what? What did? Uh, how did China die? I don't know. I don't know. You want to go in like a, a like a pretty exciting way? Like I feel like if you're about to die, you should go on a quick ice hike. Yes, 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 mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? True. Like right. you want you want it to be like at least a, a shocking thing to read. Yeah. If you feel a heart attack coming on. Oh, dude, she she was uh, China. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quickly get to the hot, top. Hot, of the hot, hot. Quickly yeah. get to the nearest yeah. ice ledge. Yeah. yeah, right, <laughs> right. No matter what, even if there's a defibrillator <laughs> next to you. China had a cocktail in her. She was like, she had anxiety du- drugs. Sorry, you broke up. I heard China. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she China had, had a bunch of drugs in her system when she passed. Oh. It was an overdose. It looks like on. Um, that sucks. That's a bummer. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's this is the tale's oldest time for wrestlers. I mean what they put their bodies through. Yeah, tragic. Uh, the pain. Uh, it's China was a freaking legend. She didn't legend. even ever talk. She didn't even have to talk. 
No, she was just a boss. Like her first, like, I want to say like her first five years in like the WWE, she just didn't even say a word. She just stood there buff as fuck, just holding the belts. And being a woman in wrestling is just awesome. Dude, she's DX. You can't get cooler than that. She's yeah, freaking DX. Yeah, dude. she was DX God. with Triple H, right? Well, she can get cooler because she did a spinoff featured <laughs> centered around her She-Hulk character titled She-Hulk Triple X. Yes, it was. Yeah. And was released uh, to video yeah, in April yeah. 2013, yeah, so went, she could get cooler, okay? Yeah. yeah. And I've got my copy. I've got my copy. Yeah, yes. she went She went porno. Oh, wow. Look at this. I don't know where my copy is. Did you guys know Fred Durst uh, has a sex tape? Yes, yes. Fred Durst directed pornos. I know, I think he didn't stop at the sex tape. I think he directed pornos, too. It's just one nope. of those days. <laughs> No, he... No. Please don't stop at sex tape. <laughs> I think that's tight. It's just one of those days. He had a video of him and an unknown woman <laughs> having sex, and it leaked onto the internet by a repairman who had been repairing his computer, and he later sued Gawker, the website. Oh, wow, Gawker. Uh, and nine oh. others for $70 million for publishing. Damn. Damn. Dude, Damn. Damn. Oh, that's a lot. Damn. Gawker didn't... They didn't learn. This is one of that? the days when your porno leaks. <laughs> yeah, because Gawker, didn't Wait. they get Hogan as well? Yeah. So, like, what are they doing? Which was first? Which came first, the chicken or Dude, the... So, Gawker was a trap. It was a real trash heap over there. So, Gawker was a trash-ass yeah. fucking publication or website or whatever. Oh, yes. They sucked. They were just stealing... I don't know anything about Gawker. They were, they were making a movie. I read a script about it when they were green lighting every movie about every um, company that started in the last uh, yeah. 15 years. Sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. During that wave, I read uh, a script good, about though. specifically um, the Gawker. Hulk Hogan incident in Gawker, yeah. yes. That's the one that has, that's the one that has the documentary. Uh, There's a documentary out on that. that Is yeah, there? I think so. I'm sure it's good. That's the one where Hogan's like, I was in character, or that was his like, yeah. there's like a- His character says the N word? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, his character is pretty racist. Yeah, yeah. I think we've done this exact thing on the pod before. They'll <laughs> okay. probably put up a side by side of the okay. exact like. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But were, was it different? Because we were probably wearing shirts in that podcast. Oh, and so this is that? slightly different. Yeah, so this one's a little better. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be able to tell the difference. That's right. That's right. So it doesn't count. I wonder which, what, when we go on tour, I wonder which show we will decide to take our clothes off for. Um, well, I'm thinking Salt Lake City. Do you think it's early, early on? My clothes, I wonder too. The last stop. My clothes will be staying on tour. They will be staying on. You think so, Kyle? Mm -hmm. You don't know. Dude, we'll see. We'll see once the crowd starts chanting free the nips free yeah. the nips unless it's hot if it's really hot i might have to rock suspenders just to like lose everything on top of mm -hmm. the suspenders just Ooh, to like okay. have a little variety on stage not to like okay you know i bet i bet arizona i bet we're gonna get it out of the way pretty pretty quickly they're pretty hot oh i mean it's pretty hot pretty warm arizona is a live nude show arizona is completely mm -hmm. nude we're mm -hmm. billing it that way live dudes yeah you won't even need it's to buy the up. nft of our buttholes uh yeah, we'll give it to you going. free we'll, we'll, <laughs> well one of you guys are gonna have to make it we'll do it That's live <laughs> we'll check the the hemis and the you're gonna have to push it off your nose we're not gonna make it that's the thing we're not <laughs> we'll have my doctor do it, we'll do it he's live. already back there he, he can check all of your buttholes for hemis for yeah oh dude your doctor Wait. can snap a pic yeah oh the doctor from last week yes okay i remember yeah my doctor that yes. i went to yes, yes 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 it would be cool to have your doctor snap the pic for the quarter butt nft <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be tired. Just be like, hey man, can you help me out? Hey Doc, while you're back there, <laughs> can you just get a full frame it right in the center, center punch that thing? Is there a doctor in the house? Yeah, what if <laughs> we get a doctor on stage? They take us backstage. They do a live nude <laughs> inspection backstage. Yeah, they well, come back with physicals? what's wrong with us. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, we do a live physical backstage. <laughs> Is it called physical? I thought it was called live nude inspection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, this is just a physical. <laughs> yeah, Blake, what if? Hey, it's uh, Adam. Come on in. You're due for your live nude inspection. Uh, your yearly live nude inspection. 
Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, here's here's one. In 2002, <laughs> Nelly apologized after accidentally posting a video on his Instagram of him receiving oral sex. Oh, God. Which, I like that. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> Oops. I, but wait, th- I feel like this, no, this was 2022. I thought it said <laughs> 02. Yeah, didn't uh, that happen? Realized. That happens a lot. Like, didn't the who, who played um who played Captain America? Who's the guy who played Captain America? Sweetheart. Oh yeah, Chris Chris Evans. How he posted like a a story and it had an image of like his of cock. like his, yeah, just a fucking raging hard dick. That's great, dude. It, it's hard sometimes. You're what? <laughs> yes. Yes. Some, yeah, sometimes you're texting your homies. The group text gets into the Instagram. <laughs> you fucking post on the wrong place. Yeah, Wait, I've sucks. never sent. I've never. Is this. You keep saying this when you send me dick pics. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> again. And you're like, it's sorry, dude. My bad. It, it's, just, it's just like, sorry, I thought I was posting this. What do you Back think, the... though? <laughs> I thought I was. I thought I was sending this to my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Doctors though? is normal. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> so it's a Whoopsies. boner. Yes, yeah, so this is an erection. It's an erection, Blake. <laughs> yeah, it's working. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I thought you were talking about the insurrection. <laughs> it's uh, I knew it. <laughs> okay, you could have some points for that. In- insurrection. Oh, there we go. The insurrection. <laughs> interaction. <laughs> interaction. Oh, you want to know about here. January seventh? Uh, that was my interaction. <laughs> Inter- the interaction 7th. never happened. Not here, dude. Here's a good one. Do you guys remember the Scott Stapp, <laughs> the Scott Stapp, the lead singer of Creed and Kid Rock sex tape? Okay, was together. Other? Right on the bus. Threesome on the bus. Right. Yes. Uh, By the way, all these all these people are like, <laughs> yeah. Everyone just forgot about all this. It was Scott Stapp uh, in 2006 for a 1999 sex tape featuring Stapp and Kid Rock. It's what a weird reality. Receiving Mm. oral sex from groupies on a tour bus while Uh. I guess Stapp was there in the tape. Crushing butt lights? Just just watching him saying, it's good to be king. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. It's good to be the king of beers, Bud Light. Allegedly. Allegedly. And that's why Kid Rock is fucking. That's cool. This is the most allegedly episode ever. It's Dude, pretty it's... alleged. Yeah, this is very alleged. This episode's 37 <laughs> minutes long, brought to you by. Alleged. Do better. Ev- evident- I mean, evidently, uh, it's, it's real. It's on Wikipedia. <laughs> It's got to be real. It's fucking crazy. It is yeah. fucking crazy. Sex sex tape culture is fucking nuts. It's crazy how many of our heroes, quote unquote, dicks we've seen. Like that just didn't used to be <laughs> quote unquote dicks. <laughs> quote unquote dicks. Sorry, quote unquote heroes. <laughs> I think we sh- haven't seen enough. Quote unquote dicks. <laughs> yeah, I'm with theirs. I feel like I I feel like Dude. I haven't seen any of their dicks. I've seen Brett Favre's dick. I've seen Draymond Green's dick. I've seen. When did you see Brett Favre's dick? That was the he, that was a classic. That's a classic. He posted his dick. He had a really small dick. It was crazy. He had a really small one, Brett Favre. Yeah, kind. Not, well, you know, it was fine. It, <laughs> Dude, stop judging him. The problem is, is just judgment. And you saw Draymond's like in person. Draymond oh, was dude. huge. Hey, Blake, come here, dude. <laughs> Check this out. It's I'm just, it's resting on your shoulder. Wait, you saw Draymond Green's dick? He posted it on an Insta story one time. He didn't know. Yeah. Just his limp cock? Like, why are... Hard. He meant to send it to his doctor and then... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, he was sending his, a photo of his hard cock. <laughs> it was a Zoom. Yeah. Dude, that is so wild. What, what? To his doc? It was a Zoom. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a move, right? The accidental post. It's... I don't know, man. Yeah, slow news day. That's I think so. Especially, especially if it's if it's right a bit. If you got a big one, if you're packing some heat, you're like, oops, sorry about it. Yeah, oops. <laughs> oh my bad. Drop. My bad. My bad. Oops. 
Interesting. Interesting. Who else's dicks have we seen? We saw Arnold's, right? Or did we see Dolph's? I can't remember. Arnold's. We saw Dolph's. 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 Yeah. Dolph's. But that was messed up. That was paparazzi. That wasn't him posting it. Yeah, that's not okay. Although. Guys, I don't remember any of these dicks. That's not okay. That's rude. That's pr that's rock on the North Pole. How, how was Dolph's? I remember them all. That's invasion of privacy. I wish I never saw Dolph Lundgren's dick in that in that way. Mm -hmm. I'm not even saying I did. In that way. Oh, you know who else we saw? I, if, I, if he wants to show it, I'm happy to see it. But if he doesn't <laughs> yeah. want to show it, I don't want to do that. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled even. Yes. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled. Let's go. <laughs> is electric but this whole like oh i got a picture of your dick that's fucking yeah, wrong that's we can up. all agree that's ethically wrong yeah well this is like fappening style well so so how did that happen dolph lundgren how did it oh it was like yeah the fappening fuck the fappening dude <laughs> yeah. that shit was fucked up man but if well yeah that's right fuck the fappening that was fucked up that wasn't what's worse the fappening or the happening the movie <laughs> Mark the Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> yeah. It's a toss-up for me. I think one is bad. disgusting they're, and, and they're... Uh, immoral, and the other is just bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other was a bunch of naked <laughs> pictures. <laughs> yes, queen. Oh, uh, boy. That's how you say That's tickle. how you write comedy. <laughs> Let's go. That's a, that's a style of like jokes I would submit at, at real time with Bill Maher back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Mm. The old the old bait and switch, master bait and switch, master bait and switch. Mm -hmm. How much? How much? How much time did you have one on one with Bill Maher? Did you have any experiences just chatting him up or? Uh, yeah, a little bit. We're talking yeah. out of the year and a half or so that I worked there, um, eight hours to tw ten hours a day. <laughs> I'm thinking thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty hot ones. That's cool. Total. Yeah. Fix 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 his BlackBerry one time of you you and him. Well, that's thirty of you alone talking with him. Oh, tight. Yeah, you just yeah. The door was open. Mm, what? <laughs> Wait, did you uh, fix his? Did you say you fixed his BlackBerry? Yeah, he had something going on with his BlackBerry. He's like, he goes, "You're young. Can you fix this?" I'm like, "Yeah, let me take a look." You were his tech boy, dude. Wait. In 2006, Bill Maher, when someone was repairing his BlackBerry, released a... Uh... Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's one year after Colin Farrell. A photo of him getting a... <laughs> this is... Wait a second. <laughs> the Colin Farrell sex tape was 2005. <laughs> this is documented. This is documented. What did you see in there, man? Uh, yeah, I think that was about it. Thirty minutes. You know, okay. Okay. I was like a grocery getter. I was like a sandwich shopper. Yeah, I remember. I remember we got to go into the offices one day. It was like a weekend, and we. Oh, dude! Yeah, we would go in there and steal snacks. <laughs> We'd go in there and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you were like, "You have to come." Dude, it was our crafty. I'm. It was like you were gonna get us like printing paper. You're like, "Hey." We're gonna print some scripts and uh, to, to date ourselves. This is like before iPads, right? And printing mm -hmm. scripts was not cheap. You had to like no. go to oh, Fed yeah. or not FedEx. You had to go to Kinko FedEx Kinkos. Kinkos. Thank you, Kink. And like print shit, and to print like a few scripts was like thirty dollars. And our our printers are have printers gotten way better, or am I? Do I just have money money now? So I bought a good printer. You've gotten rich. Uh, printers are so bad. Yes, that. Is that it? Both, both, both. You got a laser one? You got a laser doggy? What's a up? Laser doggy? Or I don't know. I just, my printer now just works fine. It prints yeah. very well. It's great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not everyone's paying like 600 bucks for like a laser printer that prints like <laughs> eight, 12 pages a, a, sec a minute. Uh, but uh, yeah. How big is it though? How big is it? I kind of want one of those. Well, hang on. Let me sh right now, how big is it? <laughs> oh, it's a big ass printer, but. But I remember, do you remember our old printers where you had to load the... the... I kind of want a laser printer like that. Yeah, it's an interaction. I've always wanted one. The pr paper on the top, and it, it would take like literally like half a day to print a fucking script, and you'd be like... Oh, if you like accidentally like printed an image, it would be oh. like, oh, fuck, there goes all my ink. Like, tear it out, tear it out. Oh, fuck. There, yeah. That's all the ink. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, the printer I have currently has been telling me for probably a year and a half or two years. Your boobs are huge. Toner. 
and I'm just I'm still rocking with it and it's fine. Oh, that's a racket, dude. Cause they like auto yeah. do that shit. Yep. It totally is. Cause that shit's expensive and I buy it. Let's go. Now what is toner? I go, I go, well, I'll buy it Let's until it go. really starts to run out. And now I have like all this ink from two years ago. It's a racket. It's a what? fucking racket, man. And it's probably gonna go bad, and then Shaq's schlepping this new stuff where you just pour it in yourself, and I'm like, what you pour it in, Shaquille? That's icy hot. What are you talking about? Shaq has a... Shaq works for... Yeah, dude, that's Gold Bond. You put that on your feet. Your... Gold Bond? Your crotch. Works for, like, a Eps... Epson printers or yeah. whatever? Oh, is it? Oh, when we're in Atlanta, we have to go to Shaquille O'Neal's Papa Murphy's. That's the best. Wait, Sha Shaq has a Papa Murphy's? I mean, by the way... Hang yeah. on, isn't Shaq the person whose dick we want to see the most, though? Yeah. Out of everybody in the world. I think you're right. Only if he wants only if he wants to show it. I, I'll come back to Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't wanna I don't want I don't want to force him to whip oh, it out. Of, co of course, Kyle. Of course. Okay. I just want I just want base level. We all know that that's base level. I want before Shaq dies. Yeah. I just want him to be like to yeah. Guys the big reveal. Everyone's been thinking. Yeah. About this. Here it is. He's he's 85 years old. He's like, I've got one last thing to do. <laughs> yeah. You're saying you want him to post. This is my penis. To his story. This is, yes. it, you asked for it. You wanted it. An accidental. You asked for it. You got yeah. it. You asked for it. This is my penis. Uh, yeah, I mean, some it would, how disappointing would it be if it's okay. just like, because even a regular like seven inch cock would look way small. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Holy shit. Yikes, yikes. Regular. There's a lot of things that's... <laughs> huh? Regular? <laughs> bu 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 uh, uh, problematic about that. And I'm like, uh? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you guys. You didn't offend. You didn't offend at all. It's just I'm wondering where your reality uh, is. Three? <laughs> like, what's your what's your reality? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's not a... Hang on a second. That, uh, that's about how big my dick Wake is. Up. And so what? that's what I consider a regular uh, size dick. That's not a reality. F well, we're in two different... We're in two different universes, buddy. Okay, so what is... Uh, I mean, I don't want to speculate on how big... You're D... You're Marvel. Kyle is DC. <laughs> Your dick is or uh, not big, but but I'm not saying a damn thing. We're just in a couple different couple different universes, there, buddy. Kyle's DC. Dick, the dick cute. He's just, the dick cute. Okay. Kyle's just sticking up for the everyman. Yeah. Can't stay. I'm over here <laughs> like no. Well, I thought that's about. Isn't that about average? I don't think seven is is average. Seven. Oh uh, no, the average is six and a half, seven. Uh, no, you can't just be like regular seven. You can't just say that on air in public. You can't just do that. That's not cool. I don't think that's obscenely big. It w That was a number you're- It's <laughs> science. It's definitely not regular. You said regular. <laughs> like that's fucked up. <laughs> Kyle's crying. I thought that was the average. I thought like six and a half, seven inches was the average. I think you might have a small penis, Kyle, and that's okay. Why are you yelling at me? No, no, I don't care. Adam, I think your I think your national average is off. I think you're Well, let's look it up. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I just don't want to be like I think that's old data. I think that's 2005 I data. That... That's Colin Farrell data. Right. Yeah, we like right. to embellish. I just national average. Don't think that this should be something that we embellish because I think that people um need us for solace. They need to hear that you know what Adam's saying is that even if it's eight <laughs> or nine Pull inches, back. yeah, even if it's a big penis, sure. Okay, now we're now we're talking. Yeah, I'm I'm disappointed. Even if it's a big, oh dude, the the average is so fucking small. <laughs> Goodbye. Stop. Wait, wait a minute, dude. <laughs> the average size of an erect penis <laughs> is five point one inches. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> That seems fine. 5.1 to five and a half. What? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Then why aren't there funnier <laughs> movies? Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking weird, that's, dude. That's a dude. trip. That seems fine. That seems fucking weird. That seems fucking weird. <laughs> from five from where? That's a trip. Wow. <laughs> That's a trip, dude. Are yeah. you kidding me? That yeah. was like dude. me in fucking fourth grade, probably. <laughs> Around? <laughs> okay. All right. 
<laughs> Wait, Blake, where are you going with this? I want to follow you, bud. What are you talking about? <laughs> my my dick's gotten bigger. By the way, but like we're all joking, but that's definitely like a pretty cool oh, confi- okay. confidence booster. Yeah. Okay, here yeah. I have. <laughs> it's like. All right, great. For some, if you, ha- I'm feeling pretty good over here. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. For some, if you, if you, That's if you cool. had one wish, yeah, for some, bigger dick. Go ahead to 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 reveal um, a penis yeah, of someone. Who would it be? If you could, if <laughs> no, small. I love it small. I feel like that was the whole beginning of this conversation. <laughs> yeah, is that Blake. it's Shaq. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Blake just decided to get up, get up, and leave. Yours is Shaq. Yours is Shaq. <laughs> Everyone's a Shaq. Who else do you want to see besides Shaq? Yeah, I think Shaq is the right answer because, because it, it, like I was trying to explain, and then you guys teed off on me for no. saying a regular size seven inch dick. <laughs> Jesus, bury the headline. <laughs> so even if it's huge, even if it's even if it's twelve inches, even if it's a monster fucking crazy cock <laughs> that you only see in, in porno movies, it would look small on Shaq. Right. 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 Sure. So if he has a oh, that's what you think. 5.1 inch cock, it's going to look like a goddamn micro penis. Which is great. Which is fucking great. Hey, but but you know what's cool? There's no way. Fantastic. Anybody listening that's a great cock. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it's beautiful and you are somebody. But to be honest, <laughs> yes, thank you. What's what's cool about Shaq is that there's no way it's five. Shackadelic. There's Man. no way it's seven. It could be Bubble nine, size! which would be the biggest let letdown of my life. And if it was nine, if it's nine, that would be that would mean letdown. Why is that a letdown? Shaq has a small penis for his body. For Shaq. For Shaq. Uh. He would be disappointed with his nine-inch cock. Uh. Would he though? Because proportionate, proportionately, <laughs> that would be very small for him. So if he I was a small person, he would have like a three-inch cock. You want to see it? I don't think, no matter what size Shaq's dick is, I do not think he's disappointed at it. All right? You want to see it? You keep asking about it. I might as well show it to you. Yeah, he's not. He's chilling with his dick, and that's what he's been doing his whole life, bro. He's all yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if he, if, if, if it turned out to be 14 inches, I, I would believe it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am so glad that I'm able to control my penis now. If he didn't show, if he didn't show it, he's like, I'm not going to show it. Well, I think from, uh, I mean, for sure, I think Shaq. But he said it was 14. I'd go, whoa. Is the correct answer. You're saying if you had one wish to reveal a male penis, you guys are saying Shaq's. See, I would want, I, I, I don't know if I could pick one person. I want to be amazed. I want someone, if you said like a. Uh, it's Shaq or it's you. I think it's me. It's Blake. I, I want to see what you're working with. I want to, like, if Michael Sarah is just like, it's actually, Blake. I have a 11-inch cock. That's what I would like to see. Someone that you that you don't see. I'm not saying I'm... Re- and by the way... Wait a minute. If Michael Sarah had a 8 or a 9, I'd be like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not... Right? But if Shaq had a 9, I'd go, oh, really? Dang. Dang it. Oh, uh, Poor guy. Yeah. Uh. I get it. I get what Great you're saying. Ass. I'm not revealing it to be impressed. I'm not. Until you get to St. Louis, <laughs> Missouri. <laughs> I'm uh, not revealing it. Live on stage, the VIP ticket. I'm not revealing it to be impressed. I'm not revealing it. I'm revealing it be- I'm for science. Trying to think of a person that I want to like. I'm like, huh, I wonder. <laughs> Envision their cock. You were thinking about men's cocks all the time. <laughs> Don't make it weird. You're making it weird now. Don't do that. It's fine. Yeah. No, no, dude. I've talked about this before. I think that historically it would be <laughs> one, of these, cor- it, one of these historic sleepovers that you had with your husband. Go ahead. I think Go. it would actually. What about them? What about them? Go ahead. I think it would actually uh, <laughs> historic add a lot of important information to how society was formed, how people come to power. If we revealed historically like historical yes, men's yes. penis sizes so you 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 want it to have historic ramifications to be like like it would be interesting well there's a reason we all follow george washington because of his 11 inch cock okay when you say ramifications i like that okay yes i'm saying does <laughs> elon musk have a huge cock or or 
is he is it super small and he's like just outputting so much to See, get over his small cock i think he's above average i think he's big uh yeah elon because isn't he like six five yeah, he's a big guy. Yeah, but you don't know. I don't know. Like, what drives? I think that, uh, no, I think you're right. It... And so he's like, he's also king of the nerds, you know? So I feel like. Well, we have. I'm just saying a lot. Yes, which is weird. He had that confidence. Yeah. But nerds, you tend to think nerds have small, small penises. They don't. They don't. I don't, I don't think that. I don't think that. They don't, they don't. I do not think that. This is what makes the world interesting. I tweeted this a thousand years ago. This is what makes the world interesting. I'm still gonna yeah. say that. This shit's interesting. But what makes the world interesting is is <laughs> nerds with huge dicks and dorks with perfect tits. The fact that that <laughs> exists just keeps yeah. this crazy world swirling. That shit's important. <laughs> it's true, yeah, it's true. You never... Keeps, yeah, yeah, keeps it spinning. Durst is making a lot of great points this set. <laughs> it's like, well, wait a second. Where did he get, where did she, where did she get those? And where did he get that? What are yeah. you doing with that there? What are you doing with those under there? Huh? <laughs> <What> the, huh? <laughs> it's what keeps this whole damn world swirling. <laughs> it does. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Cause if everything was as you expected, you'd be like, yeah. well, for sure he's gotten she, well, we see what she's getting. Well, wait a second. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Hold on a minute. What's he got over there? Well, historically, who do you think? Well, historically then, Blake. Hey, you, sweetheart, take your glasses off. <laughs> who do you think has a big cock? Historically, since you want to bring history into this. Durs and I were just thinking, like, it'd be cool uh, to see Shaq's I giant think... cock. You know. John Wayne. Does yeah. John Wayne got a big old dick or what? Ooh, that's a great question. The over-under yeah. on that is crazy. Yeah. He's a big man. He's a big man. Like, Gandhi is hauling around a fucking hog dude right because he just had big dick big dick energy is what you're saying like just mm -hmm. the bde soup the biggest dick energy like nothing fucking he was inflappable well that's one way to put it <laughs> well something was flapping <laughs> so, was something was flapping <laughs> so big it can't flap <laughs> <flash. laughs> that shit was there's flapping no, there's really no uh -uh. <laughs> my man is unflappable In like. immovable <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And it moved yeah. that shit was like mind, body, soul, everything. Yeah, but he's wearing the little like kind of the dress. I don't want to say diaper, but like, but you couldn't see. <laughs> wouldn't you have seen it flop out at one point if it was exactly? That's why he didn't wore he didn't wear traditional garb because he just had to design basically. I thought he wore like the most traditional garb for. I think it was yeah, pretty too. traditional garb for post for post colonial uh, India. Yeah. Yeah, but how often yeah. was he kicking His it with that? I was... feel like he was a bit of a journeyman. He was like... <laughs> and and, and I, want to, I want you to finish your sentence and then tell yeah. me what this is based Wait, on. what? I, I like love my dude it. just like... No, Gandhi had a one-of-one one style. Nobody was wearing that get up. Nobody was wearing that. What do you mean? Every, every fucking... He wore that. I... They all wear the, that little fucking... Like if you're out in like the sticks and like you weren't part of like the British bullshit that took over and like wearing suits and shit like the Western bullshit. You think you were wearing the like the wrap and over the shoulder like the. Yes, the, I feel like. What do you think? He was the Ralph Lauren of that era and made that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at like monks. Every monk dresses like that. I think he was saying I don't need anything. He had a little more steez, I feel. Great show. Great show. <laughs> Tony Shaloub. Yeah. I feel like he was like, I don't need in <laughs> Tony Shaloub. <laughs> huge dick. Gotta, gotta oh, there's be. no there's no gotta. doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah, gotta be. Tony Shaloub is is packing. There's no way. There's no way it's small. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> part of what Gandhi was, right? He, like his thing was I don't need earthly possessions, so I'm just gonna like tie this like kind of curtain around me and then like that's what's up. But also, I'm going to hide my huge lap. Can I just say that I don't want to offend anybody. He was not wearing a curtain. I know what I, I know, but I'm just saying like just material. He was wearing material yes. in a way that I think was pretty traditional for India. That was hearkening back to what they Harkening. wore previous to colonialization. The colonial. Yeah. I guess uh, that, that being said, said, probably huge guy. <laughs> <Huge, laughs> oh. 
Adam, I'm with yeah. I'm right there yeah. with you. Yeah, I, I, um, would, I can see that. pulls it back. So cool. That's So that's who you want to see is Gandhi's dick. Just like, I want to see Gandhi's hog. Okay, Kyle, go. Okay, a religious uh, figure, sure. And by the way, it's just good to be back. It's good to be back. Well, yeah, it's good. Let's I mean, go. Yeah, John Wayne's interesting. Like, do you think that that was... And when we get to Phoenix, come on stage and show us your hammer. <laughs> what about... Kyle, if you could pick one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I stay by wanting to see, like, I, I don't know who I would call out. I would like to call out... This is like the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I want to call out Shaq. <laughs> Whoever, it would be the, the most, the most surprising, the most surprising. Like, if you, if somebody who's like... Not for, known for being a cool, big, tough guy. Like Shaq, you expect him to have a huge cock, but like a... Uh, like what about Timothy Chalamet? Maybe... But the, but that's the thing is that if he doesn't... Maybe you want to see Timothy Chalamet's cock. I bet Chalamet has like a David Bowie style dick where he's like so come. thin that yeah. his yeah. seven looks gargantuan on him. The thinner, the thinner you are, the bigger it is, right? I mean, that's... <laughs> the bigger it looks. That, yeah. that shit's important. Yeah, it, it is. I think it actually is bigger because yeah. And when we get to Medford, we're gonna we're gonna see it. He's joining us on stage. I think your dick is actually bigger when you get skinnier. I don't think it <laughs> it appears just skinnier. I think you're uncovering when you. I think you're uncovering like I think parts of your dick when you get skinnier. Out of your sense, you either have diarrhea or you don't. Does that make sense to anybody else? It does not, Kyle. No. I I, I think. <laughs> does that is that. Is no. that clicking? I think I think that what you're talking about is your pubic mound. We'll do it live. As you get bigger. Correct. Gather fatty tissue. And so then the base of your dick <laughs> Bow to your is uh, stuck in the sunken place. That's right. And then you uncover that. And then you uncover that. <laughs> My God. That, that's what's been happening to you, Kyle. That's why it's so top of mind. You're like, you're going yeah. like, oh, look at it. It's growing. Your penis is unfurling. Have I've you? had a couple of nice months. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. Wait, have you, were you at a point where you were looking down and not see your dick? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, if I. Oh, hey, that, hey, nice. And you were up yeah, to 270, no. so that tells me something about you. Yeah, two, 270. Yeah, 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 you know. Let's just say I saw yeah, my dick at 270. Regular <laughs> 16 inches right? over here, bro. Regular 16, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Flapping, baby. Wait, but Kyle, who is your guy? Because I, I, I agree with Adam. He's unflappable. <laughs> my dick's unflappable. It's I agree with Adam, who is like the, the person you'd be shocked to see. But like the cool thing about Shaq is that you're shocked if it's nine inches, uh, which is right, a, right. Which is a glorious sure. length. Nine inches is fine. <laughs> well, you're you're shocked e anyway with Shaq. That's why I think yeah. he's the perfect choice. Because if it's if it's he has the least disappointing penis. No, because if you if you said a foot, I'd go. Yeah, yeah, but that's still a huge cock, and yes, admittedly kind of cool to see. I know, but it's not surprising. Yeah, but that'd be cool. <laughs> a f a fucking a dick the size of your arm, you're like, wow. <laughs> admittedly cool to see. It's unflappable. Adam's looking for a surprise, right? You're looking for a surprise. Hey, so did you watch last night? Yeah, unbelievable. Very cool. Um, what was your favorite part? <laughs> just the part where he pulled it out. I know. It was, it was just like, okay. That's 12 inches right there. That's 12 inches of just just meat. He's just like he's just like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't <laughs> game. Stars are just like, like us. Okay, so Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. <laughs> Who who's who's what, dude? What? Who's hog? I don't know. I don't I'm, I don't know. Maybe uh, Who do I want to see? I don't want to see anybody living. I would want to be digging well, people up to understand <laughs> what the his I would want Right. Okay. Well, Blake did the same thing. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, but that's also a that that's also a dangerous game because like didn't that like I think they got like Jimi Hendrix cock and it's kind of small. I I think historically, like Napoleon. Uh, really? They they found they. Oh yeah, Jimi Hendrix. They there's a woman who made molds of him. Well, didn't they? Th there was yeah the plaster the yeah yeah and it wasn't and she needed like extra plaster of all. Oh, tight, dude. His was... <laughs> she, like, ran out of fucking paper mache. <laughs> of all kinds of uh, celebrities, which is really cool. I wish there was, like, someone in the comedy community that just wants to plaster uh, everyone's cock. So you get to see, like, yep. John Mulaney's cock, Andy Dick's cock. Andy Dick. Andy Dick. 
He never did yours. No, no, no. He was doing it. John Lovitz's dick, you know, just sort of. Dude, I've never seen this Hendrix dick. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, you can find it. It's online. It was called uh, Plaster Casters or something, right? Wasn't that the name of? <laughs> yeah. She was like a pretty. It was a woman. Yeah. It was like a f uh, fan. It, yes. She was a very famous, uh, do we say groupie? groupie That's like a yeah. bad word now, but like. Well, it, now it is, but then it was a badge of honor. Oh, it's a whole documentary, dude. It's a whole documentary. This is how do we pronounce this? Todd, Pamela D Debaris, Debars. Yeah, uh, yeah. She was in. Oh, it's Debarge. Cast of Jimi Hendrix penis goes on show in Iceland. Yeah. Latest member of museum's phallic collection. So yeah. I think we got to take the podcast to Iceland. <laughs> Look out! Uh oh. To specifically go to this museum. Uh, let's let's go. Reykjavik. Oh, so it did. So Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Let's so Jimi go. Hendrix had the biggest plaster caster. That's what it's saying. Yeah. Yeah. He rocked it. He rocked it. His was the biggest uh, of the documentary. Dude, he crushed. <laughs> what a bummer, by the way. <laughs> and uh, Penny Lane in Almost Famous, who is uh, Kate Hudson's character. Uh, that's who it's based on. Mm. Well, got to be an amalgam. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Pretty, pretty radical. Got to be like an amalgam, right? Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah. Wow. That's a fake name. Um, well, no, I'm, yeah, it is <clears> obviously, <throat> but like, uh, I feel like that, that woman was not young or maybe she's old now. I don't, I don't fucking know. Anyway, you're right. We should have the comedy plaster. Who, who the plaster caster woman? Yeah, that would be cool. The plaster caster woman has passed away. She's passed. She passed away in 2022. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we lost yep. a fucking good plaster. one, man. Fucking shout out. She had a long life. How old was she? She was 70, uh, I love it. 77, I think. 69. Yeah. 69, dudes. You want to make it to 80. You want to make it to 80, but I, I mean, I'm sure she lived a pretty. <laughs> you you want to make it to 80. Yeah. You want to make it to 90, dude. Pretty radical life if she's, if she's casting all of these famous cocks, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool, man. She lived a pretty radical life. I bet she, when she's oh, tapping yeah. out at 78 or whatever, I bet she was like, that, that was a good life. 74. 74? Yeah, yeah. mm. 74, good year. I want to make it to 80. That's that's my goal. Yeah, how do you keep, by the way, you have to keep a boner for all that time to because she's doing the plaster on you. That takes hours to. No, it's 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 your limp cock, I think. No, it's Your not. boobs are huge. It is, and it's a hard cock. I, I think I it's hard. So why would you I think want it's hard. Limp? But I also think that plaster is pretty fast setting. I'm living in a nightmare. I think it's fast setting plaster. How fast? You know, I think you can get and it's and it's warm and it's warm, so that probably feels pretty good. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I imagine there was some sort of technique. Uh, guys, I used to do. <laughs> now I did in art class in high school. I did paper mache, and it sets pretty fast. I'm gonna be <laughs> honest with you. Well, this isn't paper mache. This is plaster. It's not paper mache. Well, I go around. I paper mache my favorite comedian's cocks. I've got Will Sasso. I've got Anders. That's got to be big. Oh, that's got to be mass. Yeah, Sass, Sasso has some. Sasso. Well, you, you did it. You said so. Fred Armisen, huge. <laughs> yeah, Fred Armisen's dick for sure has like a style to it. You know what I mean? Were you? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Where if you saw it Brew. in a lineup, you'd be like, oh, yeah. for sure. Look at that style. Like, look at that cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at the lean. That one's leaning too cool. Mm -hmm. The the Honda Ridge line. <laughs> Damn. You know, it's that his dick's doing an impression of someone else's dick. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I think this episode is just going to be the guys talk about other male penises for we 55 minutes. <laughs> We've done it before. Never for this long. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like part two. <laughs> Never for this long. <laughs> but who would you be go. shocked to see if they had a Let's big go. Wang? Um, shocked. I don't know. These are these are great questions. Nothing is nothing shocking anymore. You know. Yeah, I think you'd be shocked if like if Vanna White mm. pants Pat Sajak on the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and he just has a huge a cock. One. You'd be like, whoa. <laughs> I think that'd knock you on your ass a little bit. Like a very meaty. <laughs> it would change the trajectory yes. of his career. Uh -huh. yeah. he, he's been doing Wheel of Fortune for, what, 40 years? <laughs> he immediately is, a, is in the next Mission Impossible. No, he's in the expen Expendables. <laughs>
Yes, dude. He, yes. He's immediately a giant movie star. Yeah. He, he's in the Expendables. <laughs> Oscar nod. He's got the Oscar nod. <laughs> yeah, they yes. just give him a nod. You're like, get Pat. The, 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 as soon as Vanna pulls the pants down. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, I, I will say, I saw Vanna White at, at some like charity thing a few years ago. I was like, what a poll. So, okay, cool. <laughs> and... I was starstruck. By her. There was other like really famous people there, mm-hmm. yeah. and mm-hmm. Vanna White was the one. I was just I kept like just looking at her. I bet she was like weirded out by me. So sorry, you recognized her without yeah, somebody being like, "Hey, that's Vanna White over I there." I don't know if I'd recognize her. Yeah, I recognize Vanna White. Yeah, you would, and it'd knock you on your fucking ass. <laughs> I'd pants, pants. <laughs> I think if I was in the dairy section of the grocery store and she was like, excuse me, like. Well, I mean, it's like a, there's a lot of celebrities there. So can you get the fuck out of my way so I can grab some Ben and Jerry's? I don't think I would recognize her. It, it wasn't like. Really? I think I would. I Yeah, it depends on if you're in the middle of Wisconsin, I would be like, well, that's not Vanna White. But like if you were in Beverly Hills at a grocery store, I might be like, that's Vanna White. I don't think I would. Dude, I, I'm i looking at her face now, and it's not even registering. Dude, like, she <laughs> was stunningly beautiful. I'll say that. This person, yeah. I would never recognize who this is. And uh, I was truly starstruck by her. I, I did not see that coming. Oh, did you watch a lot of Wheel? You did, probably didn't. You didn't want. Yeah, are you a Wheel guy? I think I did as a kid. I think are I was a Wheel guy. I never liked Wheel. You I know, never liked Wheel. Yeah, I loved watching Wheel. I love Wheel, dude. I went to a wheel taping at the God. McCormick Place of Chicago. Yeah, some a kid in elementary school was like, hey, do you want to come to a Wheel of Fortune taping? They're, they came to Chicago. And we went and we sat in a gigantic auditorium at this like convention center so far away <laughs> that I was like, who cares? Fucking thing sucks. Are, I, I, I'm, not exa- I'm not exaggerating when I say like, <laughs> It'd be like watching a basketball game in like a football arena. Yeah. It was that far away that you kind of are understanding what's happening. Adam, and there's no speakers. It's just kind of <laughs> happening way over there, but you're there. They, you know, they asked me to do Wheel of Fortune and I backed out. I said yes and then Hold I backed up. out uh, using mm. the strike <laughs> as an excuse. But uh, but really, I was like, the strike happened. I'm like, good, I can back out of it because yeah, I can't I spell can't. worth shit, dude. I kn- I <laughs> oh, you're not good, dude. I fucking love wheel. You're like, I'd like to buy a vowel P. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> totally, dude. <laughs> Sometimes why? No. He's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I want, I I know for myself, I would just eat shit up there. <laughs> oh man, yeah. that's a bummer. What? That would that's that seemed. <laughs> Diarrhea. Okie dokie. I I know I would do I would do better <laughs> on Jeopardy. I know I would. Really? Really? Oh, I would wheel over Jeopardy all day. Wheel over Jeopardy for me. Yes, I'm okay. When I watch Jeopardy, I'm okay. But when I I'm a like man. Jeopardy raw guessing the, the thing, I never get it. I never get it. What? It can be fully written up there and I'll be like, oh, you lose. Know. <laughs> right. Oh dude. But but Jeopardy, I I can I can do that. You're a I'm trivia the, boy. I don't think I would win. I would for sure lose. But yeah. I would embarrass myself less in Jeopardy. Right. What do you think is your like? What's your bread and butter as far as trivia? I'm. Per, I think I'm the opposite. Mm. As far as trivia goes. Uh, yeah. Just, you, you mean so? Tr- Jeopardy is a trivia show, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they talk about everything on that show, dude. Like hit, you do, like they talk about everything. But they talk about they talk about. I mean, anything pop culture, I, I'm pretty good at. And okay. so, like pop culture, uh, history, I'm pretty good at. And okay. how many world wars have I been in? You. <laughs> Like this. None. None. <laughs> 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 We've been talking about this for quite a while. Oh, God. Oh, okay, so pop culture. Wow, uh, wow, wow, wow. Pop culture. I feel like, but that's, do you think you have like a hey, specialty that is like. Massachusetts will be trivia night on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> so do, you th- do you have like a surprising, like, oh, I didn't know Adam knew about that? Because most people would say pop culture because that's kind of unavoidable. Unless yeah, you're, like, yeah. uh, living in a lighthouse. What's your super specialty? What do you deep deep dive you know the most about? No, I mean, nothing. I think I would be pretty bad at the game. I don't think I'd be great. I think okay. I think okay. I would suck. 
but better there than uh, Wheel of Fortune, where you just have to spin a wheel and say letters and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I know music and movies for the last 20 years, letters and words. But I don't, I think I'd be better than Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Yeah, wheel is so much easier than Jeopardy. Jeopardy is Jeopardy is so hard. Yeah, letters, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. What's a yeah. pihe phrase? Well, I knew we just did Family Feud, so I'm like, I'm. I also was like, well, am I uh, just gonna do every goddamn game show? So brutal. Mm. What a great episode. I did. I did. Uh, Price is Right, which was my favorite game show so i already already was like well are you good at knowing how much things co like the first question did you guys i was i didn't think i was going to be good at it because i haven't like grocery it's shopped in forever and mm. you know i don't da, 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 da. Uh, <laughs> but i uh but really really but i was so fucking good at it i won a hundred thousand dollars they were oh, like man. this is the most a celebrity has won on the show what the <laughs> whoa oh my god yeah i was just great at it yeah. For who? For what? For can I get some money? For Children's Miracle Network. Himself. Let me get oh, some shit. money. They matched they matched what the uh contestant won. Well wow. that's badass. So it's basically I'm paired with the contestant and I help them guess things. He says contestant. Oh, that's cool. Con um, contestant. That's fucking dope. So Drew yeah. so Damn. Wait, was that before Family Feud? Yeah, it was it was uh it was the first thing I did back from uh the pandemic. So you did The Price is Right with Drew Ooh, Carey, but spindle. still couldn't remember Bob Barker. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah hey, the yeah. spotlight yeah. burns hot. Yeah. It I'm does. telling you, I, I could not. I couldn't think of a word that started with S. I could not believe I couldn't get Bob Barker. When yeah. you, what? I couldn't believe it. If you, anybody who's seen the Family Feud episode between Anders and Adam's families, the Divines for the Home. It's not between us. It's with us. What do we? Stop. Don't. It was, it was between. Uh, dude, when your mom served up Drew Carey, I'm like, I know who it is yeah. now. Your yeah. mom pulled oh. it, and I'm like, that's what it is. But was that the last guess? It was a great episode. Well, it was Bob Barker. It wasn't Drew Carey, but you're right. Yeah. I know, but was she yeah, the last I, guest of your family? No, but but it comes from the same. No. No. Uh, <clears throat> Chloe guessed a good one, which was Regis. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's and a great And then one. it was- uh, Oh, from Millionaire. I, yeah. I didn't even, yeah. yeah. And then it was Drew Carey. Mm -hmm. and, and then it went to <clears throat> you guys. And we had already had Bob Barker in the pocket. And I, bl I fully blanked. I said, I, d I just don't know, which so embarrassing, yeah. dude. Yeah. I was you said you don't know? You didn't yeah. put anything out there? Yeah, no answer. No, because they only I give did. you a few seconds to say something. And I was like, ah, fuck, I don't know. Right, yeah, it's hard. Uh, Family Feud is hell of like that's got to be anxious as fuck. Like it's gotten harder. It the question, not, I wouldn't say it's gotten harder. They had the easiest shit for us. No, no, it's not hard. <laughs> yeah, it was not hard. I think it's gotten way harder. They're like, "What's a thing you know?" And you're like, uh -huh. a "Air, ding ding, water, great." Oh my god! I couldn't even let some of my kids watch that shit. It, it well, it's definitely got way more sexual. Like the answers are hella sex. Yeah, it's got hella sex. You couldn't? No, I couldn't watch your dad talk about a ball gag. Yeah, you're because when when my dad said ball ball gag, <laughs> your dad talk about ball gags. <laughs> the coolest thing that about what important. I mean, our manager Isaac's kids watched it, and they were like, "What's a vibrator, daddy?" And he was yeah. like. Uh, uh. Bend over and I'll show you. The coolest thing about when your dad said ball gag is he followed it with Steve. He's like, ball gag, ball gag, Steve. Well, he didn't say ball gag. Yeah. Ball gag would have been the home run. Oh, no, he, he said, said rubber ball. A, he goes a rubber ball. Rubber ball. He goes rubber ball, Steve. I yeah. love how he says Steve. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Like, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> the saving grace, by the way, is them cutting to your mom being like, I don't even know what that is or what that is. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> what? Because if your mom was like this. Oh, a ball gag. Oh, yeah. If your mom looked hella guilty. <laughs> yeah, my mom just goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that Let's been, go. Uh, you know what? <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Prime time. I think I know the. I think I know my wish for the dick reveal. I want. I want that Steve Harvey dick, man. What is he? 
got in those pleats, brother? Oh, uh, you, oh, uh, you know, you know he's packing. Let's go. Oh, it's gotta be mm-hmm. so good. <laughs> it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. I don't think it's shocking, but I think it's it's healthy. It's vibrant. Yeah. And it has oh. six buttons going down the front of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, <absolutely>. and uh, <laughs> it's a cool color. And his pubes are his mustache. It's just his mustache right. uh, framing yes. it perfectly. His dick is just his face, but yeah. his nose is extra long. Dude, what, what about let's you know what? Let's what go. About, what about Einstein's dick, dude? How about how about fucking Einstein's uh, dick? You know? There you go, Kyle. Mm. There you go. No, sure. Fine. Yeah. Not impressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> No, I like that. The, no, but I want to know. I want to know. I want to know too. It's all about that history. Yeah. I mean, he is. He's European, right? Yeah. He's. It's probably. Why not. do you want to know? Because he's a genius. Yeah. Because uh, no. I, okay. Okay. And I, I'm just looking for answers. Yeah, but do you want to see Stephen Hawking's dick? Sure. Well, kind of. I. I, think, I don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, sure. I would rather see Stephen Hawking's dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another great answer. I would love to pr- take like great minds and look at their dicks. That's what it is. That's that's the yeah exactly. Well, Thank you know you. who's packing. Kyle gets the game. Thank You're, you. Yeah, that's my boy Oppenheimer. That guy built the atomic bomb. You gotta have a big swinging cock for for that kind of work. Or the exact opposite, and he's yeah. just trying to blow up the world because right, he's so the, mad at how small his dick is. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, the, hey the, good point. Well, that's like Napoleon. Napoleon. Na- mm. Napoleon had mm. a small dick. That's in a yeah. jar somewhere. Yeah. Like, hot, like hot, oh, hot, hot. yeah, yes, yeah. Napoleon complex. Can we see it? You got? Is it with you? You have it. You want to see it? it? It's in a jar somewhere. Let me just... uh... Kyle bought it. It's somewhere. It's in a jar somewhere. Kyle bought it off of Nicolas Cage. Let me get (laughs) it uh... (laughs) off. Yeah. Uh, So are are there any take backs, apologies, any epic slams, giveaways? Um, (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I guess we got to take back this whole darn tootin' thing, huh? Probably should, yeah. It's just... uh... I liked it. I'll stick by this one. (laughs) I want this one to be... If if people remember anything about uh, my career in showbiz... I want it to be this episode of This Is Important yeah. Podcast. <laughs> yeah. I want to apologize to anybody who was offended by Adam saying the national average was seven and a half inches. <laughs> Just uh, mm-hmm. I didn't say seven and a half. I said seven, and I thought that was <laughs> I thought that was fairly re- I thought it was six and, and a half or seven, and, and, uh, like in that range. I didn't know it was. He said regular. He said regular. I would think it would be over six. Well, it has never, ever. It has. Yeah, well, it, and I will, and I will, yeah, and I would love to, imp- and I would In, love to apologize. Five to five and a half seems low end, but, but this, honestly, <laughs> no, in all, no, that was some bullshit. That was on some bullshit. Because if it, it, never in any conversation have you ever been Don't like gay. the average dick in America is seven inches. There has never been a conversation that has that. Very and Adam decided to say that right now for what reason, huh? <laughs> for what reason? It's either no, I think it's it's six because I guess I, that's what I, I thought just in the moment. He was like, "This is what I have," and like I feel like this is what people have. Sixty nine, dudes. I just think it was a fucking put on. It was weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, and you'll find out in Arizona. In Arizona, you you're gonna find out. Well, now that he's now that Adam's got it out, and I see it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh when we go to Massachusetts, <laughs> if, if you're coming to the Medford show, you might see it. <laughs> uh, I've seen Come it. Come to Medford, get your tickets, baby. It's going to be a hot one. Yeah, if you're going to go to yeah. Medford, Massachusetts, the 15th, you might see it. Chicago, Illinois, <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona, Long Beach, Denver, St. Louis, <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Illinois. Indianapolis, Louisville, Atlanta, Salt Lake City, and yes, Seattle. Thanks. You want to see it? I mean, that's got to be the fucking, you want to see it? You want to see it? You've been talking about it. Might as well show it to you. The live TIIA Nation show. At some point, it's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, buy tickets at TIITour.com. TIITour.com. Anything else, Kyle? Anything, Kyle? I just want to make sure we've, it's been, it's been said. (laughs) All these stones have been turned over. Yeah, I'm good. You guys, it's good. It's been nice talking with you guys. It's been good. Blake, what are you drinking out of that glass? Um, I think it's just a cup water. A cup water. It was just wax. That was a candle you yeah. drank out of. 
Yeah, I'm just drinking the wax. Okay, and that was another episode of <laughs> This is important. This, this is important. This is important. Everybody sucks. Oh. But you want to Everybody's guns out. <laughs>